about sunset time uh today was wednesday which you know what that means that's anza souk day we went to the souk and we really just didn't feel like making a video we just wanted to enjoy the souk vibes and uh take care of Rumi when we're there and see what good deals were to be had taking a, a slower souk visit you know we we went clothes shopping for Rumi and all that spoke with people a bit more and uh yeah, we just didn't make a souk video today, which is quite sad, really. And I don't have any other material right now. You know, I released everything from Rabat and Marrakesh. So I got no videos, so I thought I'd go live here. I'm waiting. I'm locked out of the apartment. And uh, Andre and Rumi should be coming home soon. And I figured I'd go live while we still got some sunset, some nice light, and check in with everyone, see how we're doing. Uh, as Ramadan is already in the rearview mirror, you know, Eid Mubarak, if I didn't say that to you already, but let me get that to you. And April is in full swing. Uh, melons, the melons are coming in heavy at the souk. Uh, let me tell you about the melons. I found three dirham melons today. I thought that was, uh, it didn't exist anymore, but today I found three dirham melons and I ate one and it was pretty good. It was almost, I'd say it was as good as the 15 dirham melons I've seen in shops and stuff, you know. Sometimes you buy an expensive melon, uh, but melon prices, oh, there, there's these big ones flooding the market. And it just really made me love the souk again today. Not that I ever fell out of love with the souk, but seeing the seasons change and fruits come in heavy is really a nice scene. But, you know, in the future, there might be some restrictions with water usage in Morocco, and we might not see all these melons and citrus. So it could be the golden age of three deer melons before they change the rules. And it makes sense, you know, these water intensive crops are, you know, water intensive in a desert might not be the most sustainable practice. But right now we're enjoying the melon season while it's here. Hassan Haman asks, what do you think about Morocco? Well, that's, that's a big question. You know I love Morocco if I've been here for so many years and I, I make this channel all about Morocco, Morocco food and culture. You know you know how I feel about Morocco. I love it. You know, I, I tell people to come visit all the time. It's got its uh, not-so-nice things as well, like any place, but all in all, you know I love Morocco. Where am I now? Gita Chad Rame S. I'm on the roof terrace. And we got uh, sunset going on. I won't focus on it so much, but trust me, there's a sunset over there. It's, it's maybe if I move away, no, can't. Ah, oh. I don't know how to issue in the sunset, but the sun setting, and that will be when the live ends for sure, so we'll run out of light there. So, uh, salam alaikum. Linda asked, what type of melon? All kinds of melons. We got. Uh, the cantaloupes, we're trying to find the ones with 10 lines, you know, orange on the inside. We got these other oblong yellow ones. Then we got these smaller yellow and green ones. All kinds of melons, except the watermelons. They have not made it to the souk yet. Uh, I see them at the shops, you know, on the side of the road. But those places, they, they often don't have the best fruit. And their prices are not cheap. The ones in Orir specifically, I'm not crazy about those. But yeah, we are enjoying the stay in Morocco. <laughs> And someone asked, what am I talking about? I'm just talking about the souk, because today we didn't make souk videos, so I'm talking about how good the, the melon haul at the souk was today. I bought, I don't know, something like eight kilos of melons, at least, I would say. I bought two or three from one guy, five from another, and then a two and a half from another guy. It's going crazy with the melons today, but it's, it's that time. Someone says, Taonu mai had Sayid wala ita istahil. I don't know what that says. I tried reading it. Uh, we have Old Man from Meknes in the chat. Welcome. The nom nominator is, uh, she was at a party, so she'll be coming here soon. She'll be very happy to be on the live stream, I'm sure. Uh, and uh, have we visited Wazazat? Yeah, we visited Wazazat to visit our friend Alba two years ago. He was working in the movie industry there. We went to Ait Ben Hadou and took a tour of some of the places where they'd film movies in the city. We were only there a couple nights and it was Corona time, so things were not so normal while we were there, but it was very peaceful. I liked 
traveling around the city, the big plaza there, I would definitely go back to Wazazat. Do you like Rabat? <coughs> Morocco Golden Age asks. Yes, I do like Rabat. Uh, Rabat was a very nice place, but again, it, it had vibes of the Corona in Wazazat because it's Ramadan and in the morning with Rumi. So I think we need to give Rabat uh, second chance. We need to go back there. People are telling me you need to see the neighborhood Agdal. I, I didn't ever hear of Agdal, so we gotta get to Agdal to uh, see some more of Rabat and see some of uh, Eiriyad, you know, where middle-aged runaway Terry lives during the day because we just kind of drove around there during night. And it was, it was a short visit to Rabat, but we hope to come back. And thank you for following the channel, uh, Moroccan from Texas. It's good to see. I uh, hope you find yourself at home down there in Texas, right here in Agadir. We just have Tiki Ween and Football Smearlocks News is Azul. Hello. Yes, Azul to all you. Uh, and Mikos77 says, welcome. So big thank you to you. Hello to Belgium. Ujda. I've never been to Ujda. I hope I'm saying that right. Ujda. I think that is like all the way northeast, like almost to Algeria, I think. Uh, I don't know. Ujda, someone confirm me where Ujda. But Kevin, Banana Village and Desert Beach is more good than Texas. Yeah, that's that's the truth. Uh, I would love to get down to Texas, have some Tex-Mex, some nachos, some tacos, but I like my Banana Village here. You know that, Morocco Golden Age. I wonder when the Morocco Golden Age is. When is that considered? Uh, hello, Hassan in Sweden. Hope you're staying warm over there. We got in the 30s here today. Tomorrow's supposed to be like 33 degrees here in Tamarat, low at 22. So we got the summer vibes going already. Uh, Hassi Wingate says, greeting from Seattle. I'm American, originally from Morocco. Good for you to be in a warm city. Seattle City rain almost 10 months of the year. Yeah, not here in Agadir. Here in Agadir, it's sunny like 300 days a year. So 10 months, sunshine, not like Seattle. He said, help this guy, he is awesome and he deserves the support. That's really nice. Thank you for translating what I just read randomly. Thank you, Music Jam. And Hilal, thank you for translating it too. Uh, she asked us to help you because you deserve all good. Thank you, Kida. I did not know that. I appreciate these kind messages. Um, you know, some people, they, they don't like us, but some people like us and we appreciate that because we like you right back. People always look for something that you do wrong. Nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes. Uh, sometimes you try and be funny and it comes out wrong and, uh, you know, there's always the other side, you know. Uh, we never see what comes before or after something a lot of times, mostly before. When you see someone doing something funny, you don't know what happened before that. And that usually explains things a lot of times. You're, you'll see it and be like, why is that person doing that? Well, there's a reason and you, you don't see the whole picture and that's why that was said or done. So. Uh, what does Morocco look like to you? Ooh, look at it, I mean, you tell me what Morocco looks like. It looks like a nice little resort there by the beach, some construction, mosque, nice sunsets. This is what Morocco looks like to me. And to me, that just looks like paradise. I mean, I love this village. You know, I talk about this all the time. It's changing. There's a lot of construction and everything going on. Those hills over there that appear empty right now will be filled, I'm sure. Uh, when I first came out here, there's no hotel here. You can see straight to the beach. That's really nice. But I still love this place, even with the construction and all the changes happening. I mean, you still got these sunsets that are just like, I mean, look at that. You can't beat that. You go up on the hill in Tamarat and you see all around you water. You see Tagazoo Bay. It's just a beautiful place. So that's what Morocco looks like to me. It's, uh, it's wonderful. If you go for a drive, Morocco changes a lot. I like uh, how the earth is red. It's got that Mars, African, but not Mars in Africa, but like it's a different kind of land than back in Chicago. Ah, hola, Block on the Rock. Welcome back after all this time. We've missed you. It's good to see you still hanging around on the rock there. Maybe we'll say hi when we're cruising on that ferry past Gibraltar. <clears throat> That's a really nice, uh, everyone's translating now. I appreciate that. Yasin from Florida, welcome. My family will be going to Florida uh, in June and they know I'm Moroccan with the gift shop there. So hopefully they go say hello to him. 
Diana Weeks, welcome back. Recognize the name. You're always in here. Uh, you are welcome in Burkane's idea. Come anytime at my expense. I don't know where Burkane's idea is. Uh, someone tell me a bit more about that. I, that's not on the radar for me. I don't... Burkane sounds familiar, but Burkane's idea? I don't know. Kevin, do not go to Wazazat. It's very hot, not good for Rumi. Andrea, she will melting here. Yeah, we went to Wazazat in January or February or March even, and it was less hot. It was, it was quite nice. It was cold, actually. Wazazat was really... Albo was calling it cold Zazat when we were there. <laughs> but now I know everyone from Wazazat wants to come to Tamrat and Agadir and keep it cool. Uh, I said they have to like and subscribe to your channel because you really deserve it. Thank you. I wish I could translate your name in some Arabic, a lion, and then some Teshlahit. But I wonder what it says. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Ten minutes. Hi, Kevin. How's weather today in Tamarit? It's hot, I think. Yeah, it got really hot. It was cool this morning. Fog covering everything, 18, 17 degrees. And then the sun pierced through, and I think it got up to about 30 today. Morocco Ujda will make it. Bilal, good evening to you. Kevin, when you become a celebrity and hit more subscribers, will that change anything in your personality? Will you go to another country and make new plans? Um... Yeah, I don't know if it will change my personality. I think it should be the same. Um, but it does change how, like, you are treated in public or something. But I don't think I'll ever become that big here. You know, some people recognize me and stuff, but I think most people don't. Moroccans don't watch YouTube. They they don't know who Morocco is. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's weird, you know, because Andrea's parents were here and they were on the beach with Rumi and they're like, oh, everyone knows Rumi. <laughs> it's like, yeah, well, probably not just from the channel, but also she goes to the beach all the time and she's, you know, she's Rumi, you know. So I hope my personality doesn't change. I still want to be uh, Kevin, you know. Um, but we would like to go to another country one day to explore a little bit, but I think we'll always come to Morocco as a home away from home, second home as people call it. But there's still uh, things I would like to do. I would like to go to India and do another yoga teacher training to continue to study, to, to be a better teacher, and to also get into that Indian food a little bit. Don't worry, Morocco, I'm not going to leave your cooking, but I am curious about the spices and techniques in different places and what is similar and what is different in other places. You should, Kevin, stay in the same level of posting videos, your channel, and increase. It's really hard to post a video every day, let me tell you that. Um, to keep them interesting and uh, different and exciting, that is where the difficulty is. You can post a video every day, but is it going to be engaging and new and novel? That's the trick. So I'm trying my best. I know I did seven videos in seven days, which was a push. And now I'm kind of taking seven days off. So I kind of could have averaged it, but that's just what it is. Uh, thanks a lot for showing good things about Morocco. You deserve a medal for Moroccan Ministry of Tourism. I'm waiting for my medal. Hopefully that medal will be made of chocolate or <laughs> something. I don't know. Or keep doing the work we're doing. I like it. Uh, welcome to Fez. I hope to visit Fez. Everyone says my mind will explode when I go to the Fez Medina. Oh, if you haven't seen the video Morocco Arise, go check that out. It's made by filmmaker Brandon Lee. And it is a beautiful, beautiful video. I saw this thing. I was like, whoa. I hope to make a video like this one day. He was here in Morocco for six weeks. He got a bunch of footage and... He put it together over, I don't know, six months or something is his passion project. And it's such a beautiful video. The sound, the shots, the storytelling. Go check out Morocco Arise. Actually, I'm going to change my title to say go watch Morocco Arise because it's really good. And I want you all to see that. It took me 15 minutes of talking to get to that point. But now here we are. I love the people of Berber Amazir in South Moroccan. Yeah, they're very friendly. I love it. Do you get jealous from Rumi stealing the show? No, I don't. I... There she is stealing the show already. I'm on the live stream. She's pointing to dogs. You could hear her maybe. She says, oh, oh. They're coming home now, so. I'm, I'm on a live stream right now. Yeah, they were 
out and about today. I don't know. We, we, we lost touch, but I don't get jealous of Rumi stealing the show go away. You know, that's, that's work for me, I guess. Uh, and it's good to capture these memories of Rumi on video and share them with family and friends. So I'm really happy for that to take a look back years later and see how cute Rumi is and how quickly she grew up when she was here in Morocco. Six months now she's been here in Morocco. She lived three months in America, so she's twice as Moroccan as she is American. Uh, Burkane, Saidiya, Ujda, Northeast Morocco. Yeah, Ujda, I knew was up there. Eighth largest city in the country. The city is located about 15 kilometers west of the Algerian border. I heard good things about there. It's just super far. We got across west to east the whole country and we got head north, but we'll see. It, it, uh, it all can be done. I live in Orrier. I hope meeting you and Andrea in the first meet pretty roomy to kiss her. <laughs> yeah, if you live in Orrier, chances are we will cross paths one of these days. Hello from UK. Please do apartment tour video. Okay, we'll do that before we leave, and we got to give it a nice clean before we do that. Sadia is a beach exactly with the border with Algeria. Nice beach. Good to hear. <clears throat> Kevin, what is your monthly rent? Uh, 4,000 dirham, and we will give you a tour of the apartment for that if you stay tuned. That's a good, good idea. When will you go to Tangiers again? I would travel from Gibraltar to meet you guys, says Hope and Glory. <clears throat> Our ferry from Tangier is June 5th, so we plan to be in Tangier at the beginning of June around that. Is Morocco safe? Morocco is extremely safe. I consider it much safer than America, and that is that. You could argue who, but just check the statistics. I would say Morocco, much safer in America. Is there a house for sale in Tamara? Yes, lots of houses for sale, lots of apartments, lots of construction. Things are on the up and up. Isham Hari, we are good today. It's a souk day. And Gita, again, we are in Tamara and we have this beautiful sunset going down here. You know, I love our paintings we got on the roof here. I didn't do them, but I love them. And I love the paintings of the sunset each evening. So here we are, Tamrat, you know, north of Agen, near 14 kilometers. Um, Zach Broad, welcome back. If you want or rent a cheaper apartment, check Tadart. It's close to both Agadir and Tagzu and located at the top of Anza. Yeah, we drove up there after Anza Souk one day. We made a video up there. I was really surprised. I had no idea this uh, whole city was up there. And it's a really nice place. Great views, uh, everything available. So, yeah, it's something to consider. But it is a drive if you want to go anywhere. Uh, Hakim says, greetings from the Netherlands. The weather's depressing here. It looks like autumn here, and it just won't get warm. I'm jealous. Yeah, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt this evening, and it is beautiful. Ah, uh, yeah, Omar, we found our Morocco. That's true. Hope and Glory says, no school shootings in Morocco. It's safer than America. School shootings, small shootings, concert shootings. Uh, what else? We got more shootings. Parade shootings. Um, club shootings. Oh, who's there? Who do we got? Who's entered the chat? Who? Who's that? Who's that? What's going on? Rumi, careful. Careful. Her, her key is around her foot. Can you get that? Rumi has... Uh, Marriage camera shootings in Morocco. I don't know what that means. Rumi, the people are saying hello. You should go to Safi City also, Kevin. The best waves there. For that? sure you will like it. No, I don't know. No, I think left. And this is one of Rumi's favorite stations. I love this part of the terraces. We got this little water station here. And what are, what are we doing now? Yeah, Rumi without pen. I don't know what she's doing. What's going on here? Oh, oh, oh. She wants uh, 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 we want water. So we have our water station here. I love the Moroccan mosaics, and uh, it's the perfect little kids' play station. I get some shade here. So, another reason I love Morocco, we can come up here in April and have a little water play right now, right? Just a little bit, Rumi. Just a little. Andrea, you got anything to say? I don't know what's going on. We're having a live stream. Oh, okay. What's the theme? April 26th. April th tomorrow, Rumi is 20 months old. Oh, that's that's something to celebrate. 20 months tomorrow, Rumi. Very good. I think 
Today was Rodney King riots in LA. Maybe if there's any Americans out there. We're 14 kilometers north of Agadir. Someone asked if you're pregnant again. What? Huh? <laughs> Not appropriate question. That's a personal question that you don't ask until, uh, um, unless you're a husband or a wife, like, you know, you, your husband. Like, you can ask me this question. Oh, I can ask you if you're pregnant. Okay. Maria says, hello, Kevin. How is your family doing? My nephew who is 15, wants to go for a year high school to the U.S. Which part of the U.S. is safe or safest to stay? Hello, Rumi. That's a really hard question, I, you know, because I think, I think most of it, you're going to be okay, you know. Uh, I, I wouldn't say anywhere is extra unsafe, you know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Mom, mom, save me from the bucket. Uh, you know, things are shocking when they happen. So it's not like, oh, you were expecting that to happen at that school or something. It's always just you know, kind of random. I think if you're just going for a year or semester, odds are on your side that you're going to be okay. You know, when you talk about how many kids are actually in school and how many actual school shootings there are, we should be all right. But you never know. Take a moment of silence for the prayer. that one comes from. I think it's the one up the hill. It's a loud one, but this guy, he's the better singer of the two, I would say. So yeah, school in America. I don't know, I, I don't have the answer for that. Safest place to go to school in America. I'd say outside of cities is probably best, but that's, that's cool. Your nephew wants to go to the US, I hope he goes there and learns a lot and meets some nice friends. Did you get a pet for her 20 months birthday? A what? A pet. A pet? A pet. She would like that and one. And then she? take the pet to the boat? No pet on the boat. Maybe a little lizard that we can hide, you know, in the box. Hi, fellow from Chirac. Don't you ever think about trying a van life YouTube channel in Europe, US, and Morocco? Van life, uh, it's very like popular and it's all this hype, you know, but once you have a kid, you really want to have a base and like, you know, be somewhere. But yeah, we want to have a van like for trips and summer in Europe. That's nice. Yeah, we need a nest. We need the nest. In a few months, she will start trying to talk. It will be funny. Yeah, I can't wait for her. Well, she's already trying. She's not one for many words now, but she puts syllables together. <laughs> She's got a big project going here. Now this is going to get dumped. How did I know that was the next step in our... No, oh, oh no, it's going to get chassis, filled. Chassis. And this is this is how <laughs> life is on the terrace here. She's so nice. Can't wait for her to start talking again. Not again, but... Uh, is rent expensive in your area? Rent has gone up. <laughs> Someone says, well, start trying for a baby again. Why? I think you want more action, you know. Ah, we're boring. Yeah, 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 There's yeah. Because Rumi wants a brother or sister, you know. So Rumi wants just... a cat and a dog. <laughs> no? 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 Where's no? I'll oh, get there. Prayer time, see you, Hillel says. We understand. Rent expensive? Yeah, it went up, you know. Here we're paying 4000 a month. I would say 4000 for two-bedroom apartment. I don't think that's expensive, but some people say it is. Our apartment before, right over there, that's where Jebli used to live, it was 2500 You know, it was also two bedrooms, but now we have a nicer terrace, so It's actually better. more one bedroom and one room with a mattress, like small kids' room. Yeah. Yeah. It says you must buy a washing machine because Rumi is too busy. Mama, mama. Yeah, huh? our wa washing machine is so bad. Yeah, we have to tell this to our landlord. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, the, it comes with the washing machine, comes with the washing machine, and then this was the washing machine. 
Let me get some lights on here. And uh, it doesn't connect to anything. There's no water hose. And you got to run this power cord to an extension cord here. And when the washing machine empties, all the water goes on the tiles. This part doesn't work. And uh, yeah, we're not big fans of the washing machine in case you can't tell. Um, that would be an investment for the next trip is proper washing machine. And yeah, there's some beautiful Moroccan tiles here. Go to Wazazat, it will be an actor in Gladiator 2 with Russell Crowe. That would be cool. Gladiator 2, that's what Andrea's dream was. She wanted to be in Gladiator 2, no? Yeah. You want to be we in had, it? We had one connection there, but now this connection is gone. So if you have connections, we want to be... Who are you waving to? Oh, yeah, awesome. Okay. There's a donkey on the street. In this yeah, it'd be cool to be in Gladiator 2. I don't know, though. If anyone's got links in that, they need a guy with some curly hair. Or extras. You know? Extras, yeah, of course. We just want to be extras. Just extras. What is Omar saying? Why not? Why not another baby? I don't know. We're, we're, we're trying to find that nest first, you know? And Artifact, the weather is great. I'm in shorts and t-shirt. The sun has set. It's a little cool, but it's, it feels like a, a nice summer night. Thank you for the kisses for the baby. Uh, Andrea, anything else to add or should I sign off here because we're losing a lot? Way to get more questions on. Is the weather is sunny and hot in Agadiria because it's wet in Europe? Well, here it's in that weird part in Agadir where it's, it's foggy. When it gets really hot, it gets foggy during the day and it doesn't get sunny until the afternoon. But uh, it's still warm enough, you know, you don't, you don't feel too cold. Uh, <laughs> I'm just laughing. The import is to stay with us. You should have nationality. You just don't want me to leave you, so if I get that, I'll do whatever I can. If it means being in Gladiator 2, that's it. Uh, no, we're not in Marrakesh. Uh, we are in Agadir. 4,000 dirham rent is a bargain for the happiness you experience. Yeah, I am, you know, I'm not trying to negotiate for this. People send pictures of other apartments like 6,000 dirham. I'm like, that is not not 6,000 DRM worth, because people will say, you gotta be careful not to price out the locals. You know, this is a talk that people have, is when people like myself come with currency from another country and we're competing for the same spaces and it becomes inaccessible. So it's actually not a benefit to pay more. You know, only one person is gaining and everyone is losing that has a limited income and they wanna stay in the place where they work, so finding the right balance to that where everyone is happy and you know that's that's the tricky thing finding everyone happy compromises we're on the north side of Agadir we're 14 kilometers north and it's like a 20 minute drive to Agadir and just go through Anza uh, Rumi needs a brother or sister get on it bro we want a house first we want like a root a nest somewhere safe, not just an apartment that we got to search for every time we come to Tamra. What do you miss most about the U.S.? Any food or special outings? Uh, you know, buffalo wings, uh, family dinners, things like that. Uh, I'll be back there in summer, June to July. I'll go to USA for three weeks. Uh, we had a big lunch today that was pasta with mushrooms. Someone asked what we're going to do for dinner. So we're just going to kind of snack tonight. Actually, <laughs> we had big pasta with mushrooms. And then I made a Moroccan omelet like we did up in the hills with onion and tomato. And this was my best one in a tagine. It caramelized really nice. I put uh, spicy paprika and cumin in there and olive oil. And then four eggs on top of that, some cilantro, and it was the best Moroccan omelet I had ever made. I was very happy how it turned out. It looked beautiful, it tasted good, and yeah, we're gonna be doing something else for dinner. I'll, I'll pop some fries in the fryer, we'll snack on some fruit and cheese. I got home late tonight, I got home late. So no big dinner tonight. I'm on the live stream, can't be cooking dinner. Uh, you have to live at least five years in Morocco to ask for nationality. I've been here on and off since 2017, uh, so I still got some time to go. But we are quite settled here. It's been six months now, if you could believe that, since we came back. And we're happy. 
Uh, we're going to be leaving soon, though, but uh, we'll be back. Don't you worry. I'm going to leave it on that note. Uh, B. Stefan says hi from the United States. If you want to stay healthy, long life, stay in Morocco, good food. Yeah, I feel healthy here. I feel great. Evo, my friend, the Dutchman, came uh, back to the UK and he had a fitness test. He's a lifesaver and he had to do a swim and a run and he crushed it. You know, he's beating all the young guys. His swim went down in a minute for like 400 meters, which is crazy. And that was after four or five months in Morocco eating healthy, surfing, walking around, and so yeah, I agree with that. If you want to live a long, <laughs> healthy life, Morocco. We have not yet seen Andrea cooking a Slovenian meal. There's a video. She cooked me blood sausage. She cooked me patizza. Uh, there are some Andrea cooking Slovenian food videos if you dig deep on our time in Slovenia. Do you have a side job other than YouTube? Yeah, I am a yoga teacher and acro yoga teacher. Viva Morocco, viva Moroccan's bees. I hope one day we'll meet and share a nice moment, bro. Yes, Ate Omar. Hopefully. Lomingo, why don't you open a neighborhood KFC style in Morocco? It will work. <laughs> I think some fried chicken will actually be pretty good in time, but tacos would be better. Best country, Morocco and Africa. Thumbs up to that. Salam alaikum, viva Morocco, Dima Midgrib. Telling us about healthy Moroccan food while putting my whole face into a Burger King burger. Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta, you gotta eat the burgers. Why you don't live in Morocco in Agadir? We live in Morocco. We live in Tamrat and we love it. And sweet, look at that sunset. I mean, even with the, the pick albatross, blue neon even looks pretty right there. Like, look, look at those lights just uh, buzz at sunset. And even on here, we got, we got more sunset. The colors, the colors of Morocco are beautiful. Look at the pastels of this village. Photographer's dream. So anyways, check out Morocco Arise by Brandon Lee. Awesome video, okay? And I think that's it. Chat, unless someone's got good. Bissar shop in your native city, that would be business and cold. I don't know about Bissar in USA. They not, might not be crazy about that. But yeah, it is just beautiful here. I chose Agadir for the surfing, stayed for the beauty. Keep it clean, keep it zween, y'all. Another beautiful night in Morocco. All right? Do what you love, find your Morocco, and we're going to see you next time.